little cutie. That is the star of my holiday card this year. Aww. And I figured I would take you through my whole process from rough sketch to dropping it in the mailbox. Oh, good. So after I sketch out my idea, mm-hmm. I light box it on my 12 by 20 Huey on light pad. Oh, nice. Which is much more light pad than the job calls for. <laughs> And I polish up the pencils on a sheet of cold press Canson watercolor paper. Are we doing an ad? It sounds like <laughs> yeah. an ad. It does. But, you know, I always try to list our tools and materials down in the info. Oh, yes. And I figured that I'd spill some product names of the stuff mm-hmm. in case anybody wants to try them out. Good idea. Like, for instance, the <laughs> mask pen masking fluid that I'm using here to dot some snowflakes on the page. Yeah. I really like this stuff. Oh, good. And there's plenty of other brands of masking fluid out there. Yes. But I particularly like the applicator on these bottles. Oh, good. And I'm not afraid to say so. Well. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you know, we see a lot of art posts when we zip through social media. Oh, right. And there's a lot of good stuff. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times people in the comments want to know what kind of brush are you using? Oh, yes. Windsor & Newton, by the way. (laughs) Or what kind of paper or whatever. Right. And I know that it's beside the point. Because every hand is going to wield the tools in a different Mm, way. Right. Never going to have the same results. Mm -hmm. But I also don't think it's necessary to keep any of that stuff top secret. No. Which is why I will proudly say this is the Daniel Smith watercolor (laughs) set that I'm using. 24 colors. Yes. Uh, It's a great little set. Oh, yeah. It's got strong pigments. Mm -hmm. Even when you water them down, really nice colors. Yeah. I'm no watercolor expert. But they have worked well for me so far. <laughs> they have, yeah. And, you know, I'm not saying that any of these things are the best products out there. Yeah. But they've worked well for me. I think it's turning out pretty good so far. Well, you know, I'll tell you, the whole reason that I'm making this card, yeah. you know, it, it really wasn't in my plans. Right. But I started getting holiday cards from some of our illustrator and cartoonist friends back in December. Yes. <laughs> and none of them phoned it in. Oh, I know. Each and every card was a hand-drawn illustration <sighs> that they put time and effort into. Yeah. Then they made the cards, they printed them out, they right. spent money on postage. Yeah, I know. I saw the cards. Some really nice stuff yeah. in there. Really nice illustrations, fun yeah. cartoons. But yeah. You, but you know, it's kind of kind of obligated me to reciprocate. <laughs> right. It really put the onus on me to draw something. <laughs> and and not only that, yeah. I got to go buy stamps. Oh, uh, yeah. Who's got the money for stamps? <laughs> Now, these guys are all so generous. I should really yeah. let them know that, that gifts are also acceptable. <laughs> I know you thought everyone was very sweet for sending I, those No, cards. seriously. I yeah. really do. I, th- I think it's really nice that people yeah. take the time to do that. It's, yes. It's genuinely a very nice thing to do. I was initially going to do just watercolors and the graphite. Okay. But then I didn't think that the pencil was apparent enough. Ah. So I went back in with some Prismacolor colored pencils. <laughs> To, you know, just give the, the pencil line a little more edge. Oh, yeah. To uh, add some texture. Right, yeah. You know, a little fur texture oh, here and there. A nice. little, little detail work. Some highlights with a lighter pencil on the darker oh. colors. And I thought it was a nice little finishing touch. Ah, I love it. Are you going to type up all these brand names down in the info down below? Well, one of us is. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so here I am removing the masking fluid to reveal the snowflakes oh. like magic. Oh, I like this part of the process. You know what? I should let you do this part yeah. next time. Okay. That'll be fun. Thank you. <laughs> next thing I did was I scanned my finished drawing in with my Epson scanner <laughs> into Affinity Photo, which is quickly becoming one of my favorite art programs. Oh, that's great. And I wanted to add just an encouraging message to the illustration for the new year. Yeah. Something not too sappy. Yeah. Just a shot in the arm after this 2020 fiasco. (laughs) And then I print out the cards on my Canon Pro 100 wide (laughs) format printer. The brand names are not stopping. (laughs) Right. And I cut each one out individually, sustaining, as you know, a very painful Uh, paper cut during the process. Right. Epson premium matte paper. (laughs) I'm looking at you. Right. Anyway. And if I'm not mistaken, mm-hmm. that's my Martha Stewart bone folder yeah. you're using to yeah. fold the cards. I mean, I'm not a brand snob. <laughs> Martha Stewart's got some quality products. Yeah, she does. It works for me. Yeah. So I mailed the cards, and I know a few people have already gotten them. Oh, good. I, I, and I genuinely appreciate all the friends that we've made online oh, yeah. over the, the years right. on this cursed internet. <laughs> yes. Whether they send cards or not, it's just right. nice interacting with people and, and being part of 
kind of like an extended family of yeah. just really fun, funny, talented people. Yeah, it's true. That includes you, by the way, you Aww. knucklehead. <laughs> Thank you. Same so, to you. Uh, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs>